Hello and welcome back to Dr. 64. A while back I bought some C64 parts. And today I want to have a look inside the box together with you. Okay, what do we have here? That looks like a quick shot, I would say. A little dirty, but in pretty good shape. And here another quick shot joystick, but it's another version. Yeah, it's a quick shot too. And I think, yeah, with micro switches, very nice. But one of the micro switches sound a little bit strange. So this one we need to check later. Here are some cables and yeah, perfect. A disc puncher. I never had one of these before. And this is a power cable, like for a 1541. Hmm, and what's that for? I don't know. If you have an idea, please write a comment. It looks like a serial cable, not like a printer cable, I think. Okay, and that's an antenna cable for the C64. I think I don't use it anymore, but uh, nice to have. <laughs> Okay, that's an IEC bus cable, so a serious cable for the C64 to connect, for example, a 5041 or a serial printer. Ah, okay, that looks more like a printer cable for a with a Centronics interface. So that's a parallel cable. Okay, and what mysterious could that be? With a socket? Hmm. And then Centronics cable, a parallel cable. Interesting. Okay, we have to find out later what that should be or could be. A cartridge? Two buttons. Hmm. Don't know what that is. We have to check also later. And a reset switch. And that's a mouse holder. Hmm. Will there be a mouse also? That would be nice. Okay, a disk box. Also good to have one. Yeah. It's in pretty good shape, it's okay. Including the keys, that's great. <laughs> a three and a half inch cleaning disc. Okay, but that's nothing for the C64, I think. Or will there be a 1581 also inside? That would be great. Okay, here's some spaces for the disc boxes. And another disc box with 100 discs. And even more discs. Will be interesting to find out what's on them. Okay, there are also some originals, that's nice. And some more discs. Let's check quickly if we can find something interesting here. And some input 64 discs, a German um, computer or C64 magazine. Oh, and an original Geos disc. That's also nice to have. And also the box looks in pretty nice condition. And below this some books and... <coughs> yes, it's in C64 bread bin. 
Is this the highlight of the box? Question mark. The condition is quite okay, let's say. With a very special sticker. <laughs> let's see what we have here. Ah, okay, that's some power supply. An old one. In Germany it's called an elephant foot, an elefantenfuß. I will check the voltages and test it, but I will not use it. I will use my own built C64 power supplies. If you are interested, I made a video where I showed how to build your own uh, C64 power supply. But now let's open up the next bubble foil. Yeah, I think we could already imagine what this is. Okay, some stickers and stuff, so I think we can set this aside and open this up. And for sure it's in 5041. That's in 1541C, I think from about 1986. Inside there's probably a Mitsumi drive. Condition is yeah also okay, some scratches here and there, but overall yeah it's okay. The drive mechanism is closed, so I hope that it was stored that way also in order to have less stress on this drive mechanism oh the 64 games collection also with the original disc that's very nice wow i'm very impressed Mini C80 with High Eddy Plus. Hmm, that I don't know this, but sounds interesting. Okay, the first one, the floppy disk manual. And here, switching from the C64 to the Amiga. The Commodore 64 book. Programming on the C64. And now my favorite. Is there really a 1351 mouse inside? It feels so. Let's open it up. Oh yes, with the original manual and the real mouse. That's so great. That looks brand new and never have been used before. No dust, nothing. Very nice. 
That's the real highlight of this box. Basic with the C64. For beginners. And here the best tricks for the C64. So many interesting books and in so good condition, that's really really nice. The original C64 manual in German, also very nice, and they look really good. And the original Geos manual, wow! Sixty four internal, all you need to know for programming and to troubleshooting. Schematics, explanations, what is on a PCB and what's it for. A really great book. It's really nice to have this in my books collection. Explanations of the different ICs and the pin descriptions. Port description and its pin assignment. Okay, that was all from the box. I hope you found it as exciting as I did digging through the box. In some upcoming videos I will maybe check and repair some of these things. So stay tuned and I hope I will see you next time. Bye bye Dr. 64.